Let's find out just how far I'll go To look like someone you should know Maybe I'd sound a little better If my features were more sweet Your mind's already been made up You saw my number and my number wasn't good enough I'll write a little better if I'm willing to compete I'll do it if I have to Hoping for an in-between Not what I meant when I said that to be seen How am I meant to stay on track When each hand I shake will pull me back Oh, I'll work a little harder But walk a little less I'll do it if I have to Hoping for an in-between Not what I meant when I said that I, I wanted to be seen I'll do it if I have to I'll keep it to myself Hoping for an in-between Oh, I must have seen that somewhere Not what I meant when I said that Lesson 1. Listen and talk too. That's not what I meant. Today we will learn how to use the phrase, that's not what I meant. You can find this in page 12 and 13 of your textbook too. Okay, let's try today's warm-up activity. I will read some words to you. Try to guess what is the missing word. What's the missing word? Bed Bath Living Class Hmm, what could the answer be? Ah! I've got it. Room. Bedroom. Bathroom. Living room. Classroom. Let's try another one. What's the missing word? Ear. Boxing. Diamond. Finger Wedding Hmm, what could it be? I know Ring Earring Boxing ring Diamond ring Ring finger Wedding ring Okay, nice. Let's try one more. What's the missing word? Work Town Room Hmm, I think this answer comes first. What could it be? Ah, I know. Maybe it's home. Homework. Hometown. Homeroom. Okay, excellent. Let's do another one. What's the missing word? 
باد پیپا بیچ هند hmm. Let's think Is it towel? Bath towel Paper towel Beach towel Hand towel Okay, let's do another one What's the missing word? Hue, police, bat, cave. Hmm, this one is tricky. Ah, how about man, human, policeman, batman. Caveman. Okay, nice. That's it for the warm-up activity. Let's move on to today's lesson. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant is used when you have been misunderstood. After saying, that's not what I meant, you can explain yourself. You can say, that's what I meant, if you have been understood. Let's take a look at some examples using, that's not what I meant. This sample dialogue is like the one in the textbook. Let's read it together. Don't let the cat out of the bag about Jane's birthday gift. A cat? I don't have a cat. That's not what I meant. Keep her gift a secret. Because speaker A is talking about cats, speaker B does not understand. But what they mean is, keep it a secret. Don't let the cat out of the bag means, keep a secret. Let's take a look at some more examples. I'm going to jump on it. You're going to jump on what? That's not what I meant. I'm going to do it now. Jump on it means do it now. It will fly by. What? How can time fly? That's not what I meant. It will be fast. It will fly by means it will be fast. I'm going to grab a bite. Grab a bite? Won't you hurt your hand? That's not what I meant. I'm going to eat now. Grab a bite means to eat now. Catch you later. You don't have to catch me, I won't fall. That's not what I meant. Bye for now.
catch you later means bye for now. You're driving me up the wall. That's impossible. And I can't drive. That's not what I meant. You're annoying me. Driving me up the wall means you're annoying me. You can also say that's not what I meant when someone asks you a question. For example, A. Did you mean something? B. That's not what I meant. Let's take a look at an example of this. Example. Did you mean there's a party for cats? That's not what I meant. Okay, let's try today's game. This is the matching game. You have to match the two phrases that have the same meaning. Let's take a look at this example. It's a scorcher. Hmm, it's a scorcher. Ah, it's hot. It's a scorcher and it's hot have the same meaning. I could eat a horse. I'm hungry. They have the same meaning too. Let's try and play this game together. You should match one blue sentence with one yellow sentence. It's a scorcher. We looked at this one already. It's a scorcher means it's hot. Okay, perfect. Jump on it. Hmm. Do you remember jump on it? From the examples? Hmm, jump on it means... Ah, I remember. Jump on it. Do it now. Okay, perfect. Hmm, next one. Buy for now. Buy for now means... Hmm... Ah, I know. Catch you later. Bye for now. Catch you later. Okay, very good. How about the next one? Grab a bite. Grab a bite. Hmm. Ah, I've got it. Grab a bite means... Eat now. Grab a bite. Eat now. Excellent. Do you like horses? I could eat a horse. Hmm. What could this mean? Horses are very big. So you can eat a lot. I guess that means... Hmm, I'm hungry. I could eat a horse. I'm hungry. Yes, another one correct. Okay. This is a strange one. Pump iron. What could it mean? Pump iron. Iron is metal. It is very heavy. 
Hmm, it's heavy, so I guess it means weight train. Pump iron. Weight train. Aha! Another one down. Okay. This one is from the examples. You're annoying me. What's another way to say you're annoying me? Hmm. Driving me up the wall. You're annoying me. Driving me up the wall. Perfect. Okay. This is another new one. Good luck. Hmm. What could it be? There's only one option. The others look incorrect. So, it must be... Break a leg. If you break your leg, that's bad luck. But we say break a leg for good luck. Good luck. Break a leg. Nice. Okay, four more. It will be fast. Hmm, I remember this one too. It will be fast means... It will fly by. It will be fast. It will fly by. Ping pong. Correct. Okay. What else? I'm thirsty. Hmm. Just three options. The desert is sand. It is very hot and very dry. So I think I'm thirsty and my mouth is a desert have the same meaning. I'm thirsty. My mouth is a desert. Okay, nice. The next one is quite obvious. I'm freezing like an ice cube. It's cold. I'm freezing. It's cold. Okay. And the last one. It's delicious. Or it tastes good. Perfect. Did you understand? There are many ways to say the same thing in English. Let's recap what we have studied today. That's not what I meant. This phrase is used when you have been misunderstood. After saying, that's not what I meant, you can explain. You can say that that's what I meant if you have been understood. The other way to use this phrase is when someone asks you a question. Did you mean something? That's not what I meant. We looked at the example did you mean there's a party for cats? That's not what I meant. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you can use this phrase, that's not what I meant, easily now. If you want to practice more, you can take a look at your textbook, page 12 and 13. Can you think of more examples of how to use this phrase? Try to use it in your everyday conversation when speaking English. Until next time, take care and take it easy. Bye-bye.